beetle. I'm gonna I'm gonna tie one and then then we'll tie one. I think we have time to tie one. It doesn't, it doesn't take too long. Okay, I usually tie this thing on a 102Y, which is a black a black hook, and it's and it's odd size. It's not 12s and 14s. They're they're 15s and 13s. And the interest, I, I kind of like it because it, it, it makes it a little shorter, like a 15 is, is bigger than a 16, but still on a 14. Uh, but, but you can tie it on 100 too. So, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start by uh, getting my thread at the eye. I'm going to come back about halfway. What size are we using? I do a 14 on a, one, on a 100. Yeah. No, so if, if you have a 102 watt, do a 15. Uh, I got a 4. I got some 14s here. All right, so I've got I've got the thread. I got the thread. I tied it in the eye. I'm halfway up. I'm using I'm using black foam. I'm using black foam. And I've got it's about four millimeters wide for a 14 or a 15. So I've I've trimmed a little taper in it, and I'm going to tie it down right at that little point. And I'm going to do the same thing I did on the on the hopper. I like to go around it a couple of times, bind it down good for the barb. And then in this one, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a peacock for the body, but you can dub it as well for whatever color you want to do. I just kind of like the peacock body the best. And I'm going to use, this is kind of fine peacock, so I'm going to use about five strands. And you could use strung hurl for this because it's, you're just going to, we're just going to spin it. I'm just going to even up the, the tips on I'm tying it by the tips. Catch it. And I'm going to make a loop. And whenever you make a loop, when you do this, the loop has to be shorter than the peacock, or you're not going to be able to pull it through your loop. Okay, and I like using this old bird tool for this, but you can twist it however you want. And this, you go through the loop, you grab it, come down, then you just spin it. And then what I like to do is grab it with one of these electrical test leads. Cut the butts off. And then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to wrap it about halfway. I'm going to wrap it about to where my thread is. Tie it off. I'm going to hold that back. And now I'm going to put my legs in. <coughs> and I usually fish the fish who can't count, so I'm going to have eight legs instead of six. I'm going to basically do the same thing I did before. I'm just going to go around the thread. <coughs> yeah, because if they don't have six legs, yeah, too many legs, they don't taste right, I guess. But they like the eight legs. It gives a little more protein, I guess. And this gets kind of wild because i got a lot of rubber hanging out here so well, I got four on that side and four on this <coughs> side. I'll try to get them somewhat in line. <laughs> yeah, it's looks like an explosion in a mattress factory, you know. And then I'm gonna bring my bring my thread almost up to the front if I can get my legs out of the way. Now I'm going to take this peacock and make one wrap behind and then I'm going to spread the legs out with the peacock. George, you going between each pair as you wrap the peacock forward? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do like two wraps two wraps between to kind of get them spread out. And I'm going to have to pull pull them back and then get in front here. You do this with dubbing, but it's even worse with dubbing. I'm just 
going to tie this off, not right at the eye back, just a little bit. Bind that peacock down. Okay. I'm just going to pull the foam over the top. And I'm going to get my indicator in here. See that on the water. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I'm getting worse and worse for, for seeing that sort of stuff. Cut that off. You know, some people see pink better, some see yellow better, so it's whatever you kind of see. And then for a measurement for the head, I usually put my scissors right against the eye of the hook. Clip it off and I get, I get that square head like that. And I'm just going to whip finish it. Are you going in front of the legs when you do that? Yeah, I'm in front of the legs, yeah. You can also, sometimes I'll leave that foam long and then I'll pull the foam out and then, then I'll actually whip it off at the eye and do that too. Either way works. If you, if you whip it off on the foam like this, you need to put some glue in there because it's so the thread doesn't come loose. And then for the legs, I usually just, I, I like to get them all together and then I want to clip them off about twice the gape of the hook. And that's wow. it. That thing's killer. It just works really well. You know, whenever you get streams that have a lot of willows and stuff on them, those fish feed on terrestrials a lot. There's junk falling out of them all the time. Beetles, ants, uh, hoppers are jumping in. So you can tie these. I don't know where the samples were, but you can see I've got different colors. And I don't, the black seems to work as well as anything. You can change the body colors. Okay. Want to tie one?